Let's start off by talking about George Odom and really the safety position because I went over and I looked over some stats, Grant, and I think that we might be selling not only George short, but the safety position as a whole short. I think when most people talk about the 49ers, we talk about question marks. We talk about two things. We talk about the offensive line, especially the interior offensive line, and we talk about the safety position opposite of Jimmy Ward. And we talk about how that's a liability and how the 49ers have really made a mistake in letting Tart walk. Now, we both preferred that they had drafted a safety. I know you like Kirby Joseph because you felt like he was a ball hawk. And I don't think Odom is necessarily that. But he is a little bit more ball hockey, I would say. I don't know if that's a word, but I'm going to run with it. Like ball it. hockey. Ball hockey. <laughs> ball hockey-ish. Like there we go. You're right. He's a little more ball hockey-ish than Jaquiski Tart is. Because Tart, I mean, the most interceptions he's ever had in a single season is, is one. Right. And so if we look at it just last year, these were the stats. Tart had 727 snaps. Mm -hmm. Odom had 471. So 36 yeah. percent less snaps. Odom had an interception and Tart did not. Yeah. Odom had two passes def defense and Tart only had one. That's crazy. Odom also one. forced it, forced one fumble. And Jaquiski Tart had zero force fumbles. You want to know why they're getting rid of Jaquiski Tart? One pass defense in 14 games. That'll do it. And then the Dude. drop pick. That'll do it. Dude. He's a scapegoat. Yeah. yeah. But do, do you think that we've been selling Odom short potentially in this whole process based I mean, off of some of those numbers? In the sense that he's a legit contender to start this year. Yeah. Uh, do I think he's an upgrade over Jaquiski Tart? I don't know about that. I mean, he'll have to prove it. He started seven games in his career, or I, I don't know. He's it's a little unproven, as is the quarterback that's coming in this year. It's kind of the theme of the year, unproven but hopeful. I, and if like if you had to put your money on Odom or Hafunga, not being the starter week one, but being the starter week eighteen, like who wins this job ultimately and keeps it through the end of the season? Who do you think it's going to be? Oh. I, I really I don't I don't think it's going to be a fun guy. I think I said on your show that I thought Moore was going to win that job. I could see Moore or Odom. I really don't see Hafunga winning or being the starter week eighteen, barring injury. I, I just I don't see that. I, I really don't. I think Hafunga is going to get the first crack at it, and I think the Niners are hoping that Hafunga is going to be a playmaker, like a guy who's going to be instinctual, reading the play, jumping the route, intercepting passes, or. He'll be a guy who's, you know, biting on things and giving up big plays. If that's what happens, then they'll – Odom will be this, the safe and steady guy, a guy who, you know, is pretty fast, uh, is in the right place, and can tackle. I don't think he's going to be – I don't think Odom's going to be a playmaker. Otherwise, the Colts would have figured it out by now. Otherwise, they're stupid <laughs> to let him go. I think the <laughs> Niners are hope, like I think that they're looking at him as, like, the safe and steady, solid option, and they're hoping that Talanoa can be this playmaker that Tart wasn't. And I'm a little – skeptical that Tar that Talano is going to be that playmaker. But at the same time, like he had some flashes as a rookie. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Well, I don't know if this is a compliment of the Bay area baller says Hafunga is, is instinctual, which is what we that's hear what a lot. Say. I don't know if that's a good thing when you're also slow. <laughs> well, the thing about him and being slow is like, he's not going to have to be in man-to-man -man coverage ever because Jimmy Ward will do that. So, I mean, not ever, but like on third down teams are going to try to single him up. Um, but mostly he's going to be in zone coverage and there have been really good, like Merton Hanks. I don't think ran a, I think he probably ran a four, six. If you're instinctual, you can intercept passes in center field, but he didn't do that last year. So we'll see. We'll see. He did it uh, once in training camp. I was there. It was, it was nice. All right. he did once in training camp. <laughs> once in training camp. All right. Once. Perfect. Yeah. CJ gray says 28. I, I think he's referring to Odom's age, which he is 28. Here's the other stat though. I, I know he hasn't played near the amount of snaps, but he is a special teamer. He's never missed a game in his career. Grant, he's been healthy his whole career. I mean, that's that's he's something as well. A great special. I've been I've, I've seen clips of his special teams play. He can do everything. He's a gunner. He's great on kick returns. Uh, he's really good. So he'll be an asset to the team for sure. But yeah, in one way or another. Yeah, one way or another for sure. Yeah. You know, the thing is, and and I don't. I really hate to box score scout. Right, that's not what it's all about. 
if you watch film that I'm sure that'll tell you something completely different. I have not watched a ton of film on, on autumn. So I'm not going to pretend that I have a ton of safety film him out there. Here's my thing with Caledonia real quick though. The night like him and Sam Womack, the Niners are always trying to hype up a fifth round DB. And some of them work out, but like, that's a premium position, man. Like you're scraping the bottom of the barrel and you're supposed to tell us that Talanoa and his four, six, one is going to end up being a playmaker. Like, yeah, I mean, I'm not saying he can't, and there's an opportunity, but really, like, if you want a playmaker at safety, you probably needed to get that guy with, like, a top 60 pick in the draft. It's a, Everyone wants that player, man. Are you kidding? You just found him in, in, in round five? Whenever I'm skeptical about that, but they have such great track records with players like Diamond or Lenore and um, – sorry. Do you, well, do you do you think this is a possibility? Jamal says Dante Johnson might get more legit snaps at safety as a starter over Hafunga if injuries occur to the starters. Do you do you think that's a possibility? Dante I'll Johnson get the first safety? crack, but if he starts giving up big plays, they will get him out of there and just get in someone who won't give up big plays. I would imagine could be Johnson, could be Odom. Yeah, it could be Johnson for sure. I you you know Hafunga is getting the first crack for whatever reason. The Niners have shown much more outward confidence in him than Trey Lance. I can't explain that. <laughs> <laughs> I can't explain that. They love Talanoa. There's like, pff, are you kidding? Troy Paul, I, Troy Paul Mala 2.0, bro. Did and not and not at all that, which is crazy. I mean, you're talking about a guy that ran four six versus Paul Paul Mala was a legit four three guy. Like we're talking about completely different athletes here. That's crazy. Yeah, man. I mean, if, if in today's offense, like these spread offenses, they'll just put four wide, go four verticals, like that's that becomes man-to-man coverage real fast. I mean, everyone has to mark up at a certain point and teams are going to do, I mean, Arizona's going to do that to tell They did it last year to Talanoa. They did it last year to Talanoa with Christian freaking Kirk. Now they got Hollywood Brown. I'm just saying, I don't, I don't to me, the night, the way the Niners used him at the end of the year was as a dime back of basically like a, we know like a third down. We know you're not running the ball. You can play linebacker. And I thought that was a good role for him. That seems smart. I like that. This is more, this is ambitious. But I think the Niners' motto this year, you know, the last couple of years it was revenge tour. This, yes. this year it's YOLO. <laughs> YOLO. Can it be YOLO if Jimmy's on the roster, though? Yeah. <laughs> Keep Jimmy? <laughs> YOLO. Why not? Let's do weird <laughs> things this year. Who cares? <laughs> because last year, I think they were a little bit on the hot seat. They couldn't miss the playoffs again. You know, like if they had missed the playoffs last year, it would have been four years and five, four to five years. And I would have been talking about it every day. So there was some pressure. Now the pressure's off and they can just say yellow. That's Aaron Banks, you're a starter. Talano, you're a starter. Who cares at Nickelback? We don't feel we'll figure it out. You know, I mean, they, <laughs> YOLO. That's the, that's, that's the word for the year. That's totally that's fair. Is that, yeah. so is that, when they walk out of the locker room, you know how every team has this where they walk out and they they slap whatever the mantra is for the year. Is it YOLO? Is it is it YOLO? And does it have Drake? And do they slap that on the way out? Is that yes. is that how that goes? Absolutely. Drake sings the right. song before every game just to get people <laughs> ready for how disappointing this season's gonna be. <laughs> He's the new E40. <laughs> God. Oh, all right. Let me. Let me ask you the question in a slightly different way. Is the safety position as a whole, potentially even without Tart, a little bit more stable and deep than it was last year? We've got Hafunga going into year two. You've got Odom and you've got more coming off of an, an injury. He was not able to play at all last year. So even though Tart's not there, is the, is the safety position overall still yeah. relatively healthy? Comparing it to last year, yeah. I just feel like the Niners really... Really, they're like, we'll shop, you know, we'll shop at Bloomingdale's for this and for that. But when it comes to safety, that is 7 Eleven. All right. We are not spending more than 350 on this position. And they're like, they're always like, hey, do you like what we found? We got it in a thrift store. Not, you know what I'm saying? To George, George, he was an all pro special teamer. Like, <laughs> sweet. That's great. But it's a fairly important position. Fairly important. But you're, you, you know, you got him in a thrift store. That's great. Great value. Great value. And they're always talking about that. But, I th- for whatever reason, the Niners are adamant that safety and guard don't matter. Those two positions don't freaking matter. I don't know. I think safety matters. I think it does. I, especially as, as the league becomes more spread out. I feel like those guys get uh, isolated more often now on wide receivers. But I could be wrong. I mean, what do I know about football? 